Let's take a look at the lesson Numeric Patterns. It says, Jaden has taken up weightlifting. Four weeks ago, he added 21 pounds to their back squat. The next week, he added 30 pounds. Two weeks ago, he added 39 pounds, and last week, he added 48 pounds. How many pounds will he add this week if he goes lifting? So I see that the four weeks ago, he had added 21 pounds. Then the next week, he added 30 pounds. Two weeks ago, he added 39 pounds. And last week, he added 48 pounds. So let's see if we can find a pattern. So we have 21, 30, 39, 48, and then our missing number. So 21 to 30, how much do we add to get from 21 to 30? So let's see. 21 to 30 would be 9 plus 9. Is that the same here, 30 to 39? Yeah, absolutely, because I know 30 plus 10 would be 40, so 1 less would be 39. Oops, plus, there we go, plus 9. And then from 39 to 48, that is also plus 9. So all we need to do to find the next number in the sequence is add 9. 48 plus 9 is 57. So our answer is 57. Kevin is trying to eat more vegetables. Each week he tries to eat more. If he started by eating 28, then 33 the next week, 38 the week after that, and 43 the last week? How many should he eat this week? Let's see. We have 28 to 33 to 38 to 43, and then our missing number. Let's see. How much do we add to get from 28 to 33? I see that we add 5. 33 to 38, that is also 5. 38 to 43, that's 5 again. 43 plus 5 would be what? Yeah, 48. So 48 is our final answer. Mason has a teacher that is always late for class. On the first day, the teacher was 19 minutes late, 29 minutes late the next day, and 39 minutes the next. And on the fourth day in a row, the teacher was 49 minutes late. How late will the teacher be expected to be on the fifth day? Without even writing the numbers out, I see that only the tens place is changing each time. The ones place is staying the same, it is nine. So 19, 29, 39, 49, do you know what would come next? Yeah, this would go up by 1. So the 4 would go up to a 5, and the 1's place would stay the same. So it would be 59, because we were just counting by 10's. 59. Caitlin's convenience store sells light bulbs. Four weeks ago, they sold 30. Three weeks ago, they sold 37. Two weeks ago, they sold 44. And last week, they sold 51. How many do you think they'll sell this week? Well, let's see. 30, 37, 44, 51, and then our missing number. So 30 to 37, I can see that they added 7. And then 37 to 44, well, I know 37 to 40 is 3, and then 4 more, so that is 7 again. And then 44 to 51, that is also 7. So let's do 51 plus 7 then to find what the missing number is. 51 plus 7 is 58. All right, there's 58. Since the snow melted, Cameron has been counting how many butterflies he sees. On the first day, he saw 27. On the second day, there were 35. 43 on the 3rd, and 51 on the 4th. If this pattern persists, how many butterflies are expected on the 5th day? Let's see, 27, 35, 43, and 51. 
27 to 35. Well, I know 27 to 30 is just 3, and then we can add 5 to that, so that's 8. 35 to 43, well, 5 more than 35 is 40, and then 3 more. Okay, so that is 8 as well. And then 43 to 51, well, I know 43 to 50 is 7, and 1 more would be 8. All right, so let's see what is the missing number. 51 plus 8, that would be 59. There's 59. Lauren is learning to type. After the first lesson, she could type seven words per minute. After each lesson, her words per minute increased to 15, 23, and 31 after the fourth lesson. What can we expect to be her typing speed after the fifth lesson? So we have seven, 15, 23, 31, and then our missing number. So 7 to 15, well, I know 7 plus 7 is 14, so 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 plus something is 23. 15 plus 8 is 23. 23 plus 8 is 31, so I know that that will be plus 8 as well. Now we have 7, 15, 23, 31. All of these we've been adding 8, so I know that I will add 8 for the next one as well. 31 plus 8 is 39. Alyssa's baby brother is getting big so fast. He weighed 48 pounds five months ago, 52 pounds four months ago, 56 pounds three months ago, and 60 last month. How much is he expected to weigh this month? So 48, 52, 56, 60. Let's find the pattern. 48 to 52, I can tell that that would be four. So we're going to add four. 52 to 56, how much are we adding? Yep, four again. 56 to 60, adding four again. All right, so then I know it must be 60 plus four since all of these we added four. 60 plus four is 64, so he will weigh 64 pounds. In the backyard, Anthony planted a garden. Each day, he goes out to count how many plants have sprouted. There were 44 sprouts on the first day. 52 the second, 60 on the third, and 68 on the fourth. Using this data, how many sprouts would you expect on the fifth day? So we have 44, 52, 60, 68, and then our missing number. So 44 to 52, well I know 44 to 50 is six, and then two more, that would be eight, so plus eight. 52 plus 8 is definitely 60. 60 plus 8 is definitely 68. Oops. 8. That's a funny looking 8. Let's cross that off and write plus 8. A little bit neater. Now we have 68 plus 8 is 76. So our answer is 76. In the backyard, Avery planted a garden. Each day she goes out to count how many plants have sprouted. There were zero sprouts on the first day. Five the second, 10 the third, and 15 on the fourth day. Using this data, how many sprouts would you expect on the fifth day? I could write these numbers out, but I already see a pattern, do you? Let's look. 0, 5, 10, 15. Yeah, here is counting by 5, so what would be next? Yep, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. It was going up by 5s. Aiden has a teacher that is always late for class. On the first day, the teacher was 23 minutes late, 30 minutes late the next day, and 37 minutes the next. And on the fourth day in a row, the teacher was 44 minutes late. How late will the teacher be expected to be on the fifth day? 
So we have 23, 30, 37, 44, and then our missing number. 23 to 30 is plus 7. 30 to 37 is plus 7. 37 to 44, well, I know 37 to 40 is 3, and then we'd have 4 more, so 3 plus 4 is 7. Yep, so plus 7. Now we have 44 plus 7. I know 44 plus 6 would be 50, so 44 plus 7 would be 51. Brilliant, and there's our answer. Amazing work, friends.